Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 Pax Britannica as Britain let us continue on from where we last left off. The France has now invaded two countries. They've annexed Wallonia, they've annexed Brittany. Neither of those really uh They don't they don't they don't predict great things for Europe. War is coming, for sure. Germany and France will find themselves once again at war, and we will be joining up with the Germans to basically beat up the French, and we'll have a great time doing so. And also the Spanish and the Italians, just for a little bit of extra fun. But I don't know when exactly. They're, one, when they're going to declare the war, and two, when we are actually going to get the, uh, get the alliance off from Germany. Well, either, the, either us offering them, or they offer us the uh, alliance, whichever one comes first, really. Okay, so I want to get down to you next. Expand the carrier fleet. Let's reinforce the cap. Uh, let, let's worry about uh, planes first. Let's support our boys on... Actually, no, let's dominate the skies. And with our research, we'll go for... Let's go with an aircraft, 37 fighters. Absolutely sounds fantastic. What about you? No, I don't want to spend any points here. I know we have planes and reserves. I literally can't do anything about that. Yeah, and you also... We can't actually activate our satellite because... It doesn't actually do anything for us right now. Got another agent? Uh, let's send you into southern Italy then. Yeah, we have, we have we might have too many agents, really. Low manpower, I'm aware of. What are we missing? Rare materials, we'll get that from you. Rubber, we'll get that from Bengal. All oh, that looks pretty good. Research. What do we want? What do we want? Like, we, we have, like, no tanks. I put all of my um, all my effort right now is going on to quadrupods. 5% more. I mean, you're, okay, you're, like, four years ahead of time. Absolutely cannot afford that. 296, 34, or 365, exactly one year. 212? I think 212 is reasonable. So we'll get some uh, some industry tax here. And when the artillery is done, we're just going to switch it also into probably Prox Efficiency Cap. Fantastic. We search that 209 days. And overall, we're looking pretty, pretty good. Right now, I think you're with the United States. You're with the East India Company? Who is this? John Brown and Company. Are you with anybody, or you, you just exist? It might just exist, actually, which is fine. And also, again, we have 700 political power. Can I get two more factories, please? These are actually the only ones I care about. Right, I... Yes. You are the only ones I care about. You're, you're just free civilian factories and uh, free agroponics farms. Not that I actually... Agropon is complex. I think it's like four food or something like that. Which, honestly, I don't know how important that actually is. Oh, wait, we have 200 points. Go, 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 go. 200 points, 200 points. That allows us to evolve the military. Yes. The matters of state. Can I now do something about France? We can we, they're at war with Germany. We got Operation Plantagenet. What are the other ones we have here? Operation Cornwall. That's if we're at war with Ireland. Uh, this is... We need to be at war with France. Okay. It's the Second World War. We have 25 days for the conflict to begin. Our units are ready. Deploy. I don't know if any of these units can actually deploy. None of you can. You're just missing the manpower, which is kind of fine. Deploy you. Don't deploy any more of them right now. And you're missing the quadrupods. But I'm kind of fine with that as well. Deploy you guys all into green army. The war in Europe. The British Minister of Foreign Affairs could not believe his ears when talking to his German colleagues. The French and Russians have shaken hands upon a military alliance, yet the Germans are far too calm about the whole affair. Not to be rude to you, but you are truly aware of the implications. The British Minister asked, hinting at slight annoyance in his voice. 
The calm figure of this German minister did not help at all. He has sheepishly replied, I am, without further elaboration. The British Ministry is currently looking through a variety of possibilities in the near future, trying to listen to the advice of German Ministry that has given according to their perspective on the situation. But a single analysis ended up with, uh, without at least the advice of mobilizing the part of the military. Having appears on the table, the British Minister swept a rattling of facts, but not seeming to impress the German Minister. Again, the German Minister calmly answered, The German Empire does not share the over-pessimistic and perhaps even militaristic view of the British Empire. That seems to me that the biggest obstacle at the moment. German Minister, may I remind you that right now you were actively at war with the French government. I I, I think um I think you might you might want to worry about that a little bit. But we are more worried about potential problems that might cause for the market operations in Russia, France, and the rest of Europe, the continental peace. Uh look. You're actively at war. Right right now. At this very second, you were at war with the French. Hey, wait, are they in my alliance? Hey, look at us go. So Germany has, this, uh, has agreed to join our faction. We will then immediately join up with the German war. French-Dutch war, absolutely, join that. So the operations have begun. First things first. Uh, I want... I might go straight through by requirement, to be honest with you. Eh, no, we don't need it quite yet. We'll go with you. I'm still on civilian economy. This whole... Wait, this whole time... I've been on civilian economy. Immediately go to war economy, please. Thank you very much. I, I actually have zero consumer goods right now. That's actually very, very impressive. Uh, first and foremost, we're at war. Call in all of our allies. Thank you. Next up... Uh, we are going to do the Home Defense Corps. Wait, are we? Yes. Next up, Blue Army, you're going to immediately rush your way into Spain. White Army, you're also going to immediately rush your way into Spain. Go, 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 go! Are you worth Russia yet? You're not. Combine the Navy. We don't have an... You're trying to tell me that Britain does have one Admiral? Okay, support naval operations here. I'm going to combine you. Yeah, another. What are you, by the way? Oh, you. Okay, yeah, you're the guys that are in uh, Asia. And I think you guys just go for it, man. We can cancel a small British fleet. Or a small French fleet, I should say, but I mean, we should just wipe the floor with them. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Germany, of course, they are fighting two fronts. They're fighting against both the Italians and against the French. But, I mean, we're also fighting on two fronts, depending on how you want to look at things. And we've landed in the... Yep! Operation 1 is to march your way to this river. Go, 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 my friends. Let's take over another port. Turning around. Let's secure the harve as well. Ian, yeah, you should all be in my war. Fantastic. Uh, what do we need? I just like more planes, please. My entire air force should be on you, except of course for the naval bombers. They can bomb the English Channel. Do we have air superiority? Yes, yes we do. Our units have now arrived. You'll be landing in Lahar very, very soon with an extra 12 divisions. Do I send in my reinforcements now or do I wait a little bit? First things first, you need to go take this port. You need to go take Casablanca. We need to make sure that reinforcements from the Pact of Vanche cannot land in Africa. I don't think they should have any other territory down here. So overall, we should be in a fairly safe position. Also, what we do want to do is upgrade it into a mod. Oh, no, we're already doing it. Look at me go. Invoke the Anglo-Portuguese alliance. What else do we have in here? You're at war with Arabia. Support the Qing Empire. Most of these don't really work out too well for us. How many troops does Portugal have? 
I don't know, but let's at least border with the Portuguese. Okay. Reposition yourself for a quick second. Portugal has joined the war. You love to see it. Germany is at war with the Russians. Did you join? Did you form a faction? You haven't. You want to say no to everything? The London Committee proposal is in these bleak hours that we must stand united and ready, spoke the British uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, trying to appeal to our nation today. Already the situation in Europe has seemed quite desperate. France and Russia were already making quite the maneuvers on German soil, and if they had their way, then Britain would surely be next. Britain seems uh, both desperate and sincere about the threat of Franco-Russian alliance posed to the globe. The question is, would it be any better under the British? Of course it would be, because I'm British and they're French. That's not even that's not even a question. Of course it's gonna be better this way. Oh, so I think we actually got a new uh that we're still the Imperial Powers. Will you guys join my war? They have dangerous borders, huh? Okay, Turkey has revolted. So the Ottomans have joined the war against the Russians. I think that's quite good for us. I think you guys actually hold position to reinforce. Red Army, you're going to deploy down here next. Thank you very much. And my naval operations are going to be for convoy escorting. And convoy escort all around the British Isles for now. And all of our planes, they are down here. And we're slowly getting manpower back. Slowly. We're, we're, we're slowly getting manpower back. Portugal has decided to abandon this front line entirely. I don't know what their plan there was, but, you know, you do you, man. I do want to take Morocco, though. We can take Morocco, and then we can put uh, troops into Portugal. Why is China sending units to support Pacter Von Che? Like, Russia actively has territory. Like, they actively control your territory. What's going on with that? Okay, American forces are also streaming into Europe. And Red Army has now arrived in, uh, in the fields of France as well, which is great. Who's this against? Oh, this is where the war against Russia, right. Everybody's getting called in, which is excellent. And you're not at... No, you, ha you have joined the war. Okay, formation, the League of Nations. We're no longer the Imperial Powers. We're now the League of Nations. Which I think makes sense as a name. The red... Blue Army, I need you to actually sit still. Don't advance too much at the moment. Burr Montgomery, give me an offensive doctrine. Thank you. And Green Army. I think I'm going to have you navally invade. Let's just say into... Let's just say into Brittany here. I think that makes sense for your operational plans. Delete you. How many troops do they have? Do we do we have any actual idea? We have 367. At most they have 201. So we do outnumber them for sure. We have one day of fuel. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh we need to go to trade. Oil. One, we also actually need more aluminum as well. We'll trade more with Germany. Oil, let's get that from our puppet here. I'll trade 12 factories away for this. That's fine. We're spending so much, man. But I need I need oil. Even, even though we're trading like 50 factories away for oil, we're still actually building things pretty quickly. So I'm happy with that. A little bit of pressure on you. 
Quadrupods don't deploy here. Just deploy for units actually in the field at the moment. So yeah, we're actually in the positive now. We have so many guns too. To go, I want to make sure you're also both on the highest level of motorization. We should have enough trucks for this. We do. Excellent. Prussia has also joined up with the uh, Russians. Which I think is less than ideal. So many... So many little buttons here. I guess I'll send you into Prussia. Oh yeah, my my uh, my intel. Reveal French intelligence, please, and thank you. That would be incredibly uh, useful. Russia joined Pak Revanche. Probably like the least surprising thing I've ever heard. I think Ottomans, you should join up with my faction. Just a thought. And also China, you should be backing us and not backing um, Germany. How many units do you guys have? 52? What the hell's... Germany, why do you only have 52 soldiers? What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. Blue Army, I think you can do a careful invasion in the south. America, how many soldiers? You have 51 as well? Germany, what the hell's wrong with you? Do I need to deploy these soldiers? I don't think I even can quite yet. But I'll probably actually deploy them into Germany. Because apparently they need the goddamn help. It's like I know our, mo our military is not considered modern yet. Like we do completely... What What is our um, air superiority bonus right now? It's only 11% debuff on them. It's actually not that great. You know, I'm actually going to cancel all these units. So I can get my manpower immediately. So I can use that to deploy as many aircraft as I possibly can. I have so... I have too many planes, my dude. I have too many... I have too many planes. 6,144,000 manpower of aircraft. Holy shit. Uh, I guess you all back... Well, you guys, we'll split you in half. If I go back here, I select these units instead. Then go back to you, and we'll have you support Brown Army. Oh, no, you're all naval. Wait. Yes, I want you guys. Half of half of you. On like this? Of course, it's going to cost us a stupid amount of fuel. And are all of you that are not assigned... All of you are naval bombers, huh? Yeah, these planes should reposition themselves. Mexico's beat the coalition, that's fine. Yes, fl fly to wherever you need to be to give my units as much air superiority as possible. I think I'm going to need to carry this goddamn war because Germany has decided to fuck it up horrendously. And we now have air superiority over up uh, up here. I want this uh, area. I want yeah. Okay, so you guys basically should not have any more supplies. And once Morocco is dealt with, we'll send these units up towards Portugal. Send them into Spain, kill Spain, open another front against the French. Presumably, Russia, France, Russia, and Italy are all the major powers of Pac Revanche, which, I mean, understandable. Technology to unlock. Fuel gain for oil, please. Thank you. Okay, you've been secured. 
I want you moving your way up north. Get these units killed off. You're moving to Casablanca. That's fantastic. Next up. Ability goes down. That's fine. Construction speed goes up. Improves our poverty rate as well, so I see no reason not to. I will say this whole... This, right now, Iberia is looking incredibly messy. I don't think there's any denying that. Oh, right, so Red Army doesn't actually have a battle plan, so I guess you go this way. Have you on just a careful battle plan for now? I do want Green Army to land at some point. And we're still we're actually losing oil again. You know, don't trade with Germany anymore. Let's trade with Mexico, please. Because they're on the other side of the Atlantic. We should be safer that way. And then we'll just trade a lot of oil with Mexico now. There we go. Fantastic. Aside from that, construction is still going pretty, pretty well. Build anti-aircraft guns in Normandy. Build them in our holdings that we've now acquired down in Africa as well. And these units got no supplies. So they should be killed off pretty quickly. Benjamin Conference London has begun. Presentations and proposals for all attending league members. Germany, by the way, you're getting your fucking ass kicked. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, invite Ottomans into our Imperial powers. Because they don't want to overextend our forces too much. Because our biggest obstacle is is actually manpower. That we might just not have enough units to uh, maintain. A f okay, but actually Portugal is doing fucking fantastic. I, I'm loving this. If we can kill just like one of these fronts, our our lives should be easier. We can also probably navally invade into Italy. I, I would have to imagine. Do we know how many troops they have? 20 to 45. I would like to maybe invade, you know, Naples or something like that. We might be able to get something out of it. Gonna have you go to Valencia. How close is Spain to being killed? Not bad. You guys have actually pushed your way to the French border. Do you know how impressive that is? I'm actually I'm actually stunned that you've done this. I'm very happy with about it. Like, don't get me wrong. You don't have nail superiority here? What the hell? Don't only have like 3,000 planes flying here? Or, like, how do you not have nail superiority? That's, that's something I don't understand. Even a little bit. But I think that for right now, this would be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My thanks to If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not Joey, you can always thumb down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.